Good morning. Just when you think you got it together and got everything that you need ready to do what you're going to do and then realize, nope, you don't. That's the story of my life. I hope you're doing well this Monday morning. Um, uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do this week. I know that I'm going to pre-record a few things tomorrow. Um... I gotta quit saying that um this is where making notes is going to come into play using the tarte eyeshadow primer or, i'm sorry the sigma eyeshadow primer in the color ignite it is one of my favorites the cup that it belongs in right in front of me so i know where it was but you know here i am looking we're going to just kind of slide that around I have used my skincare, guys. I am still sold 100% on the Peter Thomas Roth skin injection. Um, it is, I won't say that it's better than the ordinary. I just have, it, it's two steps. So, yeah. It makes life a little bit easier for me. Um, we're going to go into the Tarte. I hauled this quite some time ago. It'd be great if I would put these things on my face so I could see what I'm doing, right? Tartlet to go. Amazon Clay Palette. I guess it's the Tartlet to go. I have another one of these that I love, and this one came out, and well, y'all know. We're going to kind of do a quick look. We want to keep you longer than we're going to this to just put it down and kind of set that primer a little bit. And what I'm about to do is not going to really match the shirt I have on and that's okay. Here's why. Um, I've already walked two miles. This is sweaty. Um, I'm probably going to change it so it, do it doesn't really matter <laughs> at this point in time. Just so you know that I'm aware that, yeah, I know that th th things don't match. I'm going to go into this color. I wish I could see it, but I can't. I'm actually going, no, we're going to stay with this brush because I want to. The, the last look that I did, guys, do you know I did not wash my brushes? And that is so just not me. I'm so out of habit of things that it's just ridiculous. I got sidetracked before I got them done and didn't happen. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eyeball. We had a weekend. I'm just going to tell you. Um, we kicked off Kingdom Sound. Whew. It was good. Um, and go into this palette. Um, fella from California preached the brakes off. Fella from Corbin, Kentucky. Did the same Saturday night. Um, we did not get to attend in person either time. Um, but we got to watch it. And whoa, I'm just telling you. Whew. People get ready. Saturday uh, was my family reunion 
and although it wasn't as large as it has been in past years, we started this. We've had 39 reunions. I'm going into right there. So we're just going to That's a like like green shimmer. And I just flip the brush over. That's why you see the color to do that. Let me look in my little side mirror because if not, things get crooked. We had, you know, it's been 39 years, so things have changed from when we first started. There's a lot of people that are no longer with us. Let me use, which is this color. So we're just going to take it and just kind of go on the lid. And I'm loving how neutral and soft that these are. Loving. Anyway, we had a dandy of a time. My grandson made me proud, um, which he always does. He was the oldest of the children. And once he realized that, which didn't take him long because they were all smaller than him. Um, and you know, once he realized that he was the oldest, he took it upon himself to be mindful and watchful of the other littles. As in, you know, we're, look both ways before you cross the street type thing. And which where we are in the pavilion area that we're at, there's other pavilions. So there's not like a, an extreme, you know, there's not a lot of traffic and they're not really going really fast, but it's the safety concept. And he got it. And I'm really proud of him for that. Um, of course, um, he stood in to say grace over the meal because my other cousin was not able to attend this year. And they've kind of buddied up. Um, they know that, you know, he knows that last year they prayed together. And it that was a blessing. He quoted two verses this year. Psalms 105, 6, I believe it is. Um, have mild dyslexia, and it kind of sometimes makes it hard for me to remember that stuff. Um, but it's let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And the other one was John 3 16. But uh, yeah, we had, I got to see my mother, I got to see my cousins, we got to chit chat, catch up, talk, all that neat stuff. We got, you know, we had a little bit of time of reflection on, you know, there are so many, you know, my mother had 12 brothers and sisters. 11, I'm sorry. That's not the mascara that I want. I want this one. This is, and you know, cousins have passed away. And we're all getting older. It's been 39 years. We started doing this when I still lived at home. Um, I think it's 1985, right around in there. Um, so it's been a minute and not everybody has gotten to come the next year. So anyway, this is the Tarte, Tartlet XL Tubing Mascara. I used it the other day. Um, I want to give it a second try. I didn't wear any makeup to the reunion, and I will tell you all the two reasons why. Hang tight. It is Kentucky, I'm sorry. Um, the two reasons why we had to be up and drop mayor at daycare by eight. And we actually got there a little early and they let us drop him on off. And then we had to come back by and pick the kids up and head on to Ohio. Wound up being the first one there. Only took me 39 years to win that award. <laughs> yes, we have awards at our reunion. Um,
and it took me 39 years to win it. And the only reason why I did, I have a cousin that they generally camp because that's what we started out doing. We would go up there on a Friday, set up camp, move to the pavilion Saturday morning, have the reunion. A uh, bunch of us would go back and camp Friday, Saturday night. Um, and then part ways on Sunday. Well, as we got older, and the ones that did the camping either got sicker or passed on, my generation didn't keep that going, I'll just tell you. However, I do have a cousin, she's actually my second cousin, um, her and her husband come and they camp most years, so they generally are the first ones there. Um, they didn't camp this year. They stayed, they brought their, they didn't stay camp in the campground. So I won. <laughs> kind of by default, I won. Um, I wanted, uh, had two thoughts going, and y'all know that that don't work in my brain. Um, the tubing, I have Sarge running around my feet again. The tubing mascara, this Tartlet tubing mascara that I, I wore this the other day, I'm on the fence. I don't know that I would repurchase it at this point. A couple of reasons. It's a wetter formula. Um, it's not as wet as, as Lash Freak was. Um, and Lash Freak was one of my favorite mascaras to... Just kind of put down before I put a, a coat of waterproof over it. Um, I haven't used that in a while, so I don't know if I don't even know if they if Urban Decay still makes it. Um, but this I I like the application. I like the overall wear. When I wore it the last time, I didn't take it off purposely just to see what it would do. Um, not a big fan of doing that, but sometimes when you're trying something out, you kind of want to know different things. Um, what I can tell you is that it it wore pretty well. Um, it's pretty sweat proof um did have that that was a day that I took mayor to daycare the first time um it did well please Sarge it did well until um the afternoon until it's it did flake on me now could that be something else that I use where my lashes hit, yeah, it could. Um, it, it didn't really flake really bad until when I picked Mayor up from daycare and we crunched and yeah, he caught right there and yeah, had some flakage. I didn't have, it didn't run, it didn't smear or anything like that, just some flakes, nothing major. Anyway, I just put on the primer the peter thomas roth instant rx primer i'm pretty sold on it too um i'm gonna finish my face finish my coffee y'all have a good day we're gonna figure out how we're gonna do things this week because i have my colonoscopy thursday yay we're gonna try to do it hopefully my lungs will cooperate this time um and that's going to be pretty much it. Y'all have a great day.